today I have a smaller project. Well, it's not really much of a project, it's more of a put together. Now, this is the good old Amiga 1200 PSU. Well, I wouldn't say good old because, you know, it's. Uh, I don't think it has enough power to actually power one. <laughs> I mean, I guess it, it can power it just about, but you put anything extra on it, then, you know, no chance. But this is many years old, of course. In the future, I plan to get this um, upgraded. And for that, I will need a stronger power supply anyway. Now, these are, you know, not easy to come by. So I've decided to do a bit of a mod, a bit of a hack on an ADX PSU. Okay, so here I got myself a cheap, not too cheap, but fairly cheap, PSU, ATX PSU, and it is a 500 watt. I mean, I didn't see a, much of a price difference between 500 watts and 250. I mean, this is completely overkill. But for the price, I decided to go for a 500 watt. So, let's open this thing. It's a bit of an unboxing as well, it's just a little bonus. No document, no guarantee, no nothing. <laughs> well, I don't know if this is the same Tesla as I am thinking of, you know, the electric car Tesla. I'm not sure if it's the same one or not, but no, oh well, let's just hope it does the job. Here's this without scratching it. very crackly packaging. <laughs> it kind of has like a new washing machine smell. <laughs> Do you know that new smell? Yeah. So let's look at this. Is there a color chart on this? Yes, there is. Okay, so you have orange, red, yellow, blue, purple, black, green, gray. Okay, even on here it says the green is uh, the power on. So all you're doing is just the green to the ground. So there's plus 5 volts at 24 amps, plus 12 volts at 24 amps, plus 3.3 volts at 26 amps. So it's kind of in a 500 watt. I'm not, I don't think it's going to be, you know, at the surprise, I don't think it's going to be exactly 500 watts, but at least it can handle, you know, in more than enough. I mean, this is overkill for the Amiga, but, um, okay, one thing I'm a bit slightly funny about is that the cables are kind of thinner than I'm normally used to on ADX PSUs. Then again, you know, it's at a cheap price, so <laughs> no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna complain too much. If it does the job well, it does the job well. That's what I'm happy about. One thing good about this is if I decide to get a um, a buffered interface, I have spare CD-ROM drives lying around, so I can. I've even got a CD writer lying around, so I can kind of, um, you know power them up with this, you know, it's, it gives me endless possibilities. Okay, so this is the block we are wanting. Okay, so that is the unboxing done, so let's start doing stuff. <laughs> right, so we have a meter here because I'm definitely going to be testing this. You cannot get an Amiga every day like I used to, so I'm going to test everything. I'm going to test the voltage from this and also what, gonna, what I'm going to need are I'm gonna try my best to do the soldering free and just use wire connectors. I mean, the switch, normally an 80 power supply would be way better, but this already has a switch, power switch, so I don't need to actually make a switch externally, which is initially what I was going to do. So that's done it for me there. Um, what I can, I'm can, i gonna do here is just use wire connectors. I can find how to open these. They're sealed, so. Sorry. 
what else? Get more liquid. I will use that instead. Oh, and also, we need. Um, we will also need an Amiga power plug, which uh, I am not going to butcher this thing up because it's rare <laughs> and uh, it's a relic. It'll just feel wrong to just chop it off the end. And luckily, I have a plug already from uh, the attic because I had a, a couple of Amiga power supplies. One of them I made a small Amiga out of it, uh, out of the power supply. It's an Amiga 600 power supply, I believe. Yes. And um, I, made, uh, I did it with a Raspberry Pi, if you want to see that project. The link is in the description below to the entire series. Okay, what I have done already first is done my research here. The, um, I've done a pinout of this of this connector and uh, what goes where also the what wire what color wire is what however i am going to test it anyway because apparently commodore were not consistent entirely consistent with their colors so i'm gonna play it safe <laughs> you know this is too precious so let's kind of strip each one of these Every one of those wires is stripped. Now let's test them against you know, this thing here. With a continuum we need tester. <laughs> Continu I don't even know how to pronounce that. <laughs> Alright, so um, what would be best actually is... First things first, let's check the ground, which is, you know, this pin here. This is supposed to be ground, so let's connect the uh, crocodile clip here and then push the casing around it so that it doesn't touch any other contact, not even the outer shielding here. So what we can do is, of course it's supposed to be black. Let's test for that. Yep. Let's test if there's any shorts. Nope. We did the ground, which is the top right one, and uh, now the bottom right, which is plus 5 volts. Let's uh, put it on the pin and then push the casing down so it doesn't touch anything else. Now that should be red. Yep. Let's see if there's any shorts. Nope. 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 Once again, yes. Okay, the center one is supposed to be the white one, which is minus 12 volts, so center. Again, push the casing down. So the white one, yes, no, 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 no shorts. <clears throat> so plus 12 volts, which is supposed to be the brown, and that is the top left corner. I'm paranoid about this as you can see. <laughs> okay, so that's again the brown, so yes, so any shorts, no, no. I'm being very thorough with this, I know. The shielding, you can just like kind of ignore. It doesn't really, it doesn't really matter. But that's a good point. What is supposed to be, which one is supposed to be the shielding? Oh, the yellow is supposed to be the shield. The yellow on the Amiga is the shield. Now you're supposed to ignore that. There's no point connecting it anywhere, uh, according to my research. So, the yellow needs to be snipped off and not to be confused with the yellow on the ADX color. <laughs> that, that can, you know, seriously mess your head up a bit. So, that's fine, that's gone. No yellow. So, we have everything right, everything how it should be in this color code, in this color code, color, color, color code chart. <laughs> What I'm gonna do here straight away is put them on wire connectors and obviously I'm just gonna need four here. So what we need to do after that is just snip four here and the rest are gonna be used somewhere else. Then the red one over here. And finally the white one. That's all we have, that's all we need, really. Okay, so that's these four done, and they are unsturdy and strong. I'm pulling them really hard. So, 
we have it done here. Everything is strong. Everything is connected right. Let's double check everything. Red to red, yes. Black to black, yes, of course. Brown goes to yellow. Brown on the Amiga goes to yellow on here, on the ATX. White on the Amiga goes to blue on the ATX. Not the other way around, if you're following me. <laughs> Make sure that it's all fine. But then again, there is no blue on this side, but there is a yellow, which is the shield. I guess this is all good, so fine, strongly screwed in there. Perfecto. Let's get the three little wires, the little copper wires, away from this thing. So we have the means to test this thing. Just here. My trusty Amiga. Let's hope this is fine. Power finally. Let's hope you work, dude. Okay. Okay, so let's um, have two discs here, some old demos. Let's put them. Let's put one in. And test this thing out. Please, power up. Okay, yeah, works. least eliminate. Okay, so far so good. I got myself a better power supply. You know, it's high wattage. And I used to watch this demo when I was like five, <laughs> six or something. It's just... We used to think all these graphics are like really cool. They can send. Uh, which they are kind of cool for their time, if you think about it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is just put tape over this so nothing can, you know, external can touch it or short it or anything like this and on this too because, you know, normally all this stuff is inside a, a power case or a computer case or something but now it's not. I'm actually very surprised and amazed and happy that um, they are still making things for Amiga and I'm just, I'm actually happy to see that that community spirit and you know that's that still exists even after you know two decades or more of this of this computer you know people still have such love for it and it's so nice to see that you know it's so nice to see that I'm not the only one which feels this way it's just touched so many people this computer I didn't like Commodore themselves I'll I'll admit that but the original um, oops the original um, founders and of the Amiga, the ones who actually came up with it, I like them. Okay, so it's all done. It's all working. Everything is perfect though. Hey, I would like to thank you so much for your likes, sharing your thoughts in the comments, and uh, for joining me here most of all. And uh, also, if you wish to stick around and see more, do subscribe for that. For now, I say adios.